I'm here in Hong Kong. I arrived yesterday uh, about this time, about five o'clock in the evening, um, to be greeted by a typhoon coming ashore uh, um, here in Hong Kong. It was a, a number eight typhoon when I arrived and indeed the, the pilot had to abort the first attempt at landing and then come back in, uh, on, on which the, the weather then cut the tail engine out as well. So it's quite an eventful landing. Um, when I arrived in Hong Kong, uh, through the evening the typhoon increased in intensity and it became a number, number 10, uh, which is one of the strongest uh, that they experience here in Hong Kong. And that uh, persisted through the night and it was downgraded to an 8 this morning and at about lunchtime it was downgraded to a 3, 2 and then finally a 1, which it is now. There's a bit of breeze blowing but it's largely blown over. But of course it's left quite a lot of damage in its wake. Um, trees have been blown down in the parks and on the avenues along the main buildings. Um, the seashores had uh, clearly had some large wave activity overnight. Once the warnings were lifted, and in fact here in Hong Kong, um, you're not allowed to travel on the roads uh, in, in those typhoon sorts of conditions. Uh, it was only when it was downgraded to a three that people were allowed to come back onto the, uh, onto the roads and, and for businesses to reopen again within a two hour period of that. So it's been a quite a, um, a, a sort of a, a weather phenomena happening here in uh, Hong Kong at the moment. Not unusual for the time of year, but they haven't had a, um, a number 10 typhoon uh, for three years. So it's, it's not a, an annual event, uh, but it's, uh, it's relatively frequent in, 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 in terms of uh, uh, sort of decades and so on. You might get a few of these every decade. Um, clearly lots of damage, uh, some of the billboards and uh, uh, some of the, the hangings from the buildings have been uh, shattered, uh, tattered, and uh, some of the ornate uh, ships and so on. So it has been quite an event. Um, several people have been injured, uh, particularly on the roads with falling, fallen trees and so on. Uh, but it's passed now and Hong Kong is getting back to normal and people are out at the waterfront and so on having a look at some of the debris that's being washed in. Um, and it's traffic, although the roads are very quiet, they are getting back to normal.
as you can see, we've got a lot of um, vegetation that's come down off the trees overnight. Clearly, they're, they're trying to, to clear up. Uh, but in addition, you've got the broken umbrellas there as well, to show how windy it was.